Tom here from Lauren Systems, and I had posted a couple of photos on my social media channels and in some forums, you know, discussing a small little project we did for a client and uh, basically putting Wi-Fi at their boat dock. Pretty simple job for, well, what's going to be hopefully something bigger later. But more to the point, people ask right away, why not just run fiber? Why did you run cable? Now, the reason I even bring that up at all is because the run does exceed the 100 meters slash 300 feet general limit that you have with normal cable, but this isn't normal cable. Because of that distance, we use the Game Changer cable. And I've reviewed this previously, which I'll leave a link to down below. And there are a few factors to think about when you're designing any type of project for a client, you know, just because fiber is really cool and fancy because it's fiber and cable is kind of boring, but definitely gets the job done. There are circumstances and things you should think about when you're putting this together, which is why I'm making this video. Just kind of a quick thought process on these and what it, you know, it looks like if you do run fiber and put a job box on there and some future expandability ideas. Before we dive into the details, if you'd like to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hire us button right at the top. If you'd like to help this channel in other ways, there are affiliate links down below that help out the channel and other ways to connect with us, including our forums where we can have a more in-depth discussion. Now let's talk about this. Now the Game Changer cable will go not only the 100 meters, but up to 200 meters or over 600 some odd feet that you will be able to run this cable with PoE. I've reviewed it. I've talked about testing it. It's pretty wild how well this stuff works and uh, we do like it. And that's why I thought it was kind of neat when we were putting it in for someone where I could show a direct use case for it. And with the comments of why not fiber, I figured, hey, why not talk about that real quick? Just, you know, put the thought process out there. First is all this is is Wi-Fi for a dock. Second, they were already going to be trenching because they had to run other service lines out there to the dock. So we already have direct burial cable right here, which is this particular one from Game Changer is the direct burial, which means, yes, it's a little bit more expensive than average. Uh, you have to check with suppliers to uh, get that. It's not sold on Amazon. Sorry, it's usually sold by the large cable vendors. But then what about if you wanted to do something with fiber? Now you can get fiber, even if you don't have the tools to terminate fiber, you can have it cut at custom lengths then have the ends put on there. And then you can get jacketed fiber. So it's armored essentially. So you can actually bury it as well, but still fiber is a little bit more delicate um, than this. Even with the jacket on there, it makes me worry a little more. Uh, but once you get jacketed fiber, yes, I know it's pretty solid and should be fine. But if we go jacket fiber, I can't just run it directly into the Wi-Fi device because, well, this doesn't carry power over it. Also, you need to have something to terminate into, so we'd need a switch. So, all right, let's get a little edge switch here. So I had it sitting on the desk. We'd have to get a switch. And you can't just leave this sitting out at the dock. They don't have a building down at the dock. It's Well, it's a dock, and there's water, and there's wetness, and, well, it rains here in Michigan. So uh, you need to put it in a job box. So then we have a job box here, and uh, this is a job box by uh, Eltilix, and we could then mount the engine here, and then it's got a plug, and we could plug this in and plug in a PoE, or we could just switch to a PoE switch to be able to power it, and now we've got a lot more equipment than we had just running one cable. Now, this will be something that may be added in the future because, well, once you have Wi-Fi, you go, hey, I have this line running all the way down here. Could I put cameras down here? And yes, there is power down at the dock, so a job box may be in their future when they decide to add a camera and things like that, but once again, we don't have to re-cable it. We just where the destination of the cable is will change and be different. Um, but there's, a, you know, different thoughts on this. Now, another question that may come up is why not a site to site? Now, site to sites have really come down over the years and I haven't reviewed any of them recently. I have plenty of reviews on the channel, the previous ones that we've used and we still use some of the newer ones. I just haven't reviewed them. And that would have been an option, but yeah, then we have to mount something to the house and they like everything really nice and clean living on the water and then we've had to put a pole up to mount it so you're not just looking at it. And the only thing out there is one little pole, which we have the Wi-Fi device on. Maybe in the future, site to site would be cool, but I like the reliability and you know stability, especially because you're already trenching. They were already putting other service lines out there. So having this cable works really well. So we could have went fiber, definitely an option, but would have added to the complexity. And I feel a little bit more that fiber, generally speaking, is a little bit more delicate. You sure aren't splicing fiber uh, out in the field unless you have the right tools uh, to put the ends on. Like I said, you could have bought it prefabbed with the ends and 
that's fine, but you're also standing out there on a dock doing it. Not that that's terrible. It's actually a beautiful place to stand. It was really nice that they were out there. Uh, but this is just a simpler and more practical solution, even though it does exceed that 100 meter limit. But that's why I reviewed the Game Changer cable, because it's great for those one-off uses. And I break some of those use cases down inside that video. But this is a real world time where we did real world use case, use one of these to solve the problem. Now, one note on these job boxes, and like I said, I'll leave a link to where you can get these on Amazon. One, buy a lighter colored one so the devices in here don't overheat. Two, if you live in a really warm climate, you'll want to get one of these with fans in there, some type of active cooling uh, to cool it off because once you seal these in here, they're great weatherproof boxes but uh, heat buildup can be an issue. Either you have to put something to shade it so it doesn't hit direct sun, uh, having a lighter colored box for those of you wondering, Scott, I think this is ugly being that it's just a beige box like this, but you know, a uh, black box may blend in or look better. The other side of it is make it hotter and you don't really want the switches overheating. So those are my quick thoughts on this particular topic. I'll leave a link to that Game Changer cable video review where I break down some of the details of how they managed to take a cable like this and get it to go that extra distance. And for those of you interested in what these outdoor job boxes, these aren't that expensive. Buy them on Amazon. They come with a kit um, for all the mounting to put everything in them. We've used them quite a bit on a lot of different projects, especially where, you know, you want to get a multiple PoE switch uh, in there to handle something larger, like a few cameras, which may be something in the future for that particular project. They have a Wi-Fi now with one device, but later you have the job box and add some cameras. Yeah, that might be a pretty handy thing to have. But just so people who are wondering how that gets done, uh, I'll leave links to that. And let me know what else you think down below. If you would have ran fiber or ran site to site or ran the game changer cable, uh, let me know. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire a share project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a Join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.